Well, lots of hangings took place in the Old West, and Prescott was no exception. Yet one tends to deserve a little more attention. James Fleming Parker had a reputation as an accomplished horseman and cattle rancher. His interest was focused on the livestock itself and not so much on how he came into the possession of such. It seems in order to keep his overhead low, he would collect his stock when no one was looking. Well, James Fleming Parker started out, as they say, with a tough road to hoe in this life. His mother died when he was quite young, and four years later, his father committed suicide, leaving him with relatives to be raised. It didn't work out too well for him. He started his cattle wrestling career when he was very young. At the tender age of 15, he was actually sent to California's San Quentin prison for stealing cattle. And not too long after he got out, he was sent back for burglary. Well, later, after gaining his freedom, he began drifting between California and Arizona, stealing cattle and selling them in Nevada, running with the Abe Thompson gang up around Pete Springs, Arizona. Parker built a solid reputation as a horseman and eventually making friends with one George Ruffner. Well, George Ruffner became sheriff of Yavapai County. James Fleming Parker did not. The well, legend has it that they roped together in 1888, said to be the first of the official world's oldest rodeo and still held every year in Prescott. These two men would cross paths many times over the years, but from two very different directions. Uh, you know, rustling cattle and stealing horses and things like that. And one time the Santa Fe made him mad. Uh, uh, he said they ran over one of his horses and the railroad didn't want to pay what he thought the horse was worth. Uh, and the story goes that uh, uh, Fleming decided to rob the train just to get even. Well, during the botched robbery attempt, one of Parker's gang was shot and killed. Wells Fargo issued a wanted poster for him. And they took him down to jail in Prescott. He probably would have gotten off because, you know, the friendly court, friendly jury would have, would have let him go. But they made a jail break. Parker and what was left of his gang were not very happy about their situation. They wanted out. So they hatched a plan to escape. They summoned their keeper and they caught him in an unguarded moment. They overpowered him, grabbed the key and headed out of the courthouse. And during the break, um, uh, Parker grabbed a, grabbed a gun and he shot and killed uh, a lawyer in town who was a very popular figure. County Attorney Lee Norris heard the commotion started downstairs. Parker was determined not to be stopped this time. Shot him in the back. Fleming then stole, went down to the stable and stole uh, uh, George Ruffner's favorite horse, uh, Sure Shot. A sure shot was a great white horse and some say the fastest and the best horse in, in Arizona at that time. And Fleming Parker, of course, he knew horses and so he took the best horse and he made his getaway uh, up to a point they finally caught him out and they brought him back and they put him on trial. And uh, this time he was not such a popular guy because he had killed an innocent man there that just happened to be in the courthouse at the time and they uh, sentenced him to hang. Well, there's still one part that makes this story one of the more unusual in the annals of hangings in the Old West. Parker made one final and unique request of his old friend, George Ruffner. Just before the hanging was to take place, um, uh, he asked Fleming uh, Parker if there's anything he could do um, on his last night. And, um, and Parker said, well, uh, you remember that girl over there on Granite Creek, uh, Flossie? 
and uh, apparently she was a pretty popular working girl over on Granite Creek, was just over behind uh, Whiskey Row. And uh, of course, Sheriff Ruffner knew her and um, said, uh, yeah, I said, do you think you could get her to come over and spend a little time with me tonight? And a lot of guys want a steak dinner for their last meal, and <laughs> I guess he just wanted to visit with Flossie. And so uh, Sheriff Ruffner went over to Flossie and asked her if she'd be willing to do this, and she said sure. So um, she uh, went over there and he let her in, and locked her up in the cell, and I guess I don't know how long he, he, he gave them, but he must have given them all the time they needed. Well, Sheriff Ruffner did not like to personally pull the handle on these hangings. But Parker insisted and said there was no one else that he wanted to do it but his old friend George. He then shook hands with all on the platform and said, Tell my friends I died game like a man. Sheriff Ruffner then sent James Fleming Parker hurling into eternity. Sheriff Ruffner then drove the horse-drawn hearse to the Prescott Citizen Cemetery.